Mark 13, 8, nation against nation, kingdom against kingdom. All of this is only the first two and a half years of seals. It is World War III. You see, what else were we able to show from the difference in Mark compared to Matthew's? How about the abomination of desolation? You see, the difference for the wording is because one is a seals one and one is a trumpets one. Standing, the abomination of desolation is spoken of by Daniel the prophet, standing where it ought not. And it turns out when you go to the, gospel, uh, the book of Daniel, in chapter 11, it has one abomination of desolation. And in Daniel 12, it talks about another abomination of desolation. This first abomination of desolation is about placing something where it shouldn't be. Well, what does it represent? The time of Antichrist. Antichrist and the false prophet. And you had no mention of Antichrist or false prophet until the time of the abomination of desolation. It's going to be now the worst time than it ever was in human history. And what do we see? False Christs and false prophets now being mentioned. Which was a wild revelation in itself. Because it wasn't mentioned in the first portion of, Trump, uh, of tribulation of seals. Because that's World War III. It's not until the time of the mark of the beast and the abomination of desolation. What does this represent in the time of the mark of the beast? Well, remember, it's still the time of the Gentiles. You see, seals is still the time of the church age. During the first two and a half years of tribulation and seals, it's going to be World War III, but it's going to be a time of the greatest revival in human history. So that when the mark of the beast time comes and the abomination comes, people will already know to flee from it and to escape from it, to not take it. Millions and millions will still die. Hundreds of millions will still die. But we know the vast majority at the time of the rapture will have survived. Hundreds of millions will have survived and fewer hundreds of millions will have died. At the time of the rapture of the great multitude rapture. What is this abomination of desolation? It's the mark of the beast. Well, what makes it different from Matthew's abomination of desolation? Matthew's abomination of desolation, the, the, the age of the Gentiles is over. Now it's trumpets in Matthew. And this abomination of desolation says, stand in the holy place. It's not placed where it ought not or standing where it ought not. And the difference between the two is one is about mid seals and one is about mid trumpets. Antichrist is against Christ. He's coming to destroy Christ's people. He's trying to take them all away. Satan is coming for God's people. The Jews. What's the difference between the two of them? There's no temple yet built during seals. Only the foundation will get laid because they've been removed from the land for seven years so it can rest. But during trumpets, it gets rebuilt during the first half of trumpets. And when Satan is cast down and the pit is open and Antichrist is brought back and all three of them are there, that's when he steps into the holy place, which is going to be the temple that will have been rebuilt in the first three and a half years of trumpets. This is proven to us by an incredible picture of Moses' temple compared to Solomon's temple. Okay? What was Moses' temple that represents the time of seals? It was made of skins. You see? It was made of skins. What are you made of? Skin. Right? Flesh covered what? Flesh covered a portable temple. What are we? A skin, flesh-covered, portable temple that God dwells in. And during the age of the Gentiles, the Lord is going to be dwelling in this temple. So what do you think is going to happen during Mark's abomination of desolation? It's the mark of the beast. It's the mark of the beast. The one for Matthew 
is after the temple had been built, when the Gentile age is now over, and it's the seven years of trumpets, and the Lord is there on Zion, and the temple is being rebuilt, while there's a war with Michael and his angels, and Satan and his angels, before he loses and is cast down. What will have been built during the first half of trumpets? The third temple. This is why the Jews aren't going to fall for the Antichrist. They're going to be destroyed and be fleeing. But they'll recognize when the Lord comes, when Messiah comes at the end of seals, because he's going to destroy the enemies that came against them and against his people around the world. And it's going to be him there with the Zerubbabel type overseeing the, the, the rebuilding of the temple. You see how the confusion has taken place? When you go back into 